Okay, here with head women's basketball coach Michelle Bento Jackson. Coach, um, kind of got a teaser of season this weekend. You know, you were a scrimmage at Davis, so just kind of talk about that road trip for you. The first, you know, game doesn't really count towards anything, but you're looking to see a lot out of your players, maybe some rotations and stuff like that. Uh, what were some positive takeaways, and uh, how do you feel like it went? Well, you know, first it was just such a great opportunity for our girls to be able to go down to to UC Davis, play in their facility, play against a really high caliber team. Um, I got a lot of respect for Coach Gross and in what she's done with the UC Davis women's basketball program. And and from my standpoint, it was just 100% a learning opportunity for us. Um, obviously, we have a lot of new <clears throat> excuse me, we have a lot of new bodies on the team. So seeing players in different scenarios, seeing players in different situations. Um, along, of course, with our execution, and, and I knew it was going to be a little bit of an eye-opener to our players, just uh, the speed of the game, you know, uh, again, with a lot of new players, whether it be UC Davis, a Division One program, or a game itself at this level, just getting used to the speed of the game and just how sharp and precise things have to be. So we're going to have a film session tonight, and uh, we're really going to learn a, a lot from this opportunity. And in that film session, did anything catch your eye in the scrimmage against Davis that you want to work on as a team? Yeah, a ton. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, really on, on, on both ends of the floor. I mean, just uh, again, but I think this is exactly what we wanted to come from this, to see where we're at, to be able to point some things out to the players, both offensively and defensively. And obviously I've seen a ton of things in film, and, and we'll go over those things tonight in our film session and, and learn from them. And, and then we have two weeks. We have about two weeks to, to really get some hard, solid, efficient practices in before our regular season starts. Is there anything in particular that you particularly see of note or just improvements across the board? From the UC Davis yeah. game? You know, our execution, uh, not so much sloppy, but it was too slow. Um, just we, I, I threw out a few different types of defenses in the game. And again, just getting our girls to understand we could go from one defense to the next and we weren't always on the same page um, with those type of things. So <clears throat> um, those are two things that certainly stand out to me. Is it kind of common early in the season to go through those issues or is this something kind of new to you? I think it's always common at the beginning of the season, but probably even a little bit more so when the majority of your players out there are new. Um, so not, not just their co cohesiveness within each other, but just learning our system and, and learning how fast things happen and how things need to be executed in order for us to you know put ourselves in a position to be successful so I think you know and, and the talk after the game in the locker room you know everyone was just nodding their head and they learned a ton um, and they're going to learn a whole lot more when we have our film session tonight. And how has this preseason gone for you guys? Are you kind of itching to get to, I think it's the 13th when you open your season in Idaho? Yes. Or is it like wow it's like really almost in front of us already? Uh, well, of course it's a wow because us coaches never feel like we have enough time. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to taking these next whatever it is, 13, 14 practices before Northwest Nazarene and, and becoming a better basketball team. And it's going to start tonight in our practice, just learning from Sunday's game against UC Davis and, and being able to move forward. For sure. How do you feel like a lot of those newcomers are doing and in settling into the system that you have? You know, it's it's a little bit slow um, for for my liking, not necessarily to, to their fault, but um, you know we've been a little bit limited on some things and practices. But even regardless of, of that, it's just I, I think really just for them collectively understanding the importance of details and that we're not going to do something halfway. You know, if you got to go somewhere specifically in an offensive set, then that's where you need to go, and I don't want any shortage of that um, or any slippage of that so sometimes that's part of it just in growing on what my expectations are and what it's going to take to to be successful is that kind of like moving with purpose screen setting or what does that look like to you i guess it's so many things um yes moving with a purpose i mean that's one thing that we'll be talking about tonight you know some of our some of our offense we executed as far as going into the right spots correctly but it wasn't precise, it wasn't sharp, it wasn't fast enough, um, and understanding different speeds. Everything doesn't have to be 100 miles an hour. Sometimes you gotta stop and wait. So um, just so, so much to learn. And, I, and I, again, I know I keep saying this, but I think tonight will be even more of an eye-opener when they see themselves on film. Obviously, film is a great learning tool. Absolutely. Uh, Coach, I had one, one question <coughs> for you. 
So something that your team is looking to do this year, uh, with speaking as well to your assistant coach, is that three-point club. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to see if maybe you wanted to expand and kind of talk about that a little bit here, uh, what that looks like. And sure. I know last year you guys as a team had 212 three-pointers made, but kind of dive into maybe what that looks like and for your program this year. Well, we are doing um, a fundraiser for, for our women's basketball program specifically, which we're just going to call it the Three Point Club. And what that is, is an individual can either, either do a flat donation or they can donate per three pointers made for the season. Um, so obviously the amount will not be determined until our season is over. And, you know, I, I laugh when you say we made 212 because we did, but I don't want the girls to think, you know, we got to make money, so let's shoot more threes. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, but, yes, that is our fundraiser. I, I think it's going to be, you know, fun during the games, engage the fans as well. Whenever we do make a three-pointer, we're going to be throwing a ball out into the stands. So just trying to um, get the fans engaged in a win-win situation with it being a fundraiser for our program. Awesome. How can people sign up for that? Great question. Uh, we are putting the information out actually now. Um, all the information will be out here in, in the next week, obviously before our first game. It'll be on our website. We're going to be putting it on our social media. We're going to be doing text blast, email blast. Um, but as far as just the everyday fan or spectator, they'll be able to find it on our website and social media is probably the best place for them to go. Well, thanks, Coach. Good luck in that film session tonight, and we'll see you next week. All right. Great. Thanks to both.